This is a Fountain 34TE. It's not only a serious performance boat, it's a serious fishing boat. I mean, for goodness sake, when's the last time you saw tackle stowage like this? Oh, I am grooving on that, people. Obviously, you got tons and tons of rocket launchers every which way you look. Let's see. The slide out cooler comes right out from the leaning post. That's pretty darn slick. And back here, we got some serious live well action. It's got live wells on both sides underneath the seat. We got the cushion still there, so we're just gonna go up on this one, but this is a large live well, very large. Now, when you got a really serious fishing trip, you don't want all the seating back here, not a problem. Spin it off right here with the hand screw, remove it, and you got your wide open transom to fish from. The helm. Me, okay, the helm. Like, I don't even know what to say. Fortunately, the guy right there has got a camera on his shoulder so you can see it for yourself. We're talking multiple big screens, we're talking push buttons. I mean, the helm. Now the bow obviously has got gobs of fishing space. You got rod holders lining the gunnels up forward as well as aft. No problem there. You got triple uh, rod holders here with your cup holder rod holder there. And most people are going to look at this and they're going to go, oh, this is nice. Good place to kick back and relax. And it is. But more importantly, you can pop this guy open and you've got a serious bulk stowage area there. I mean, that is big. You know, a lot of times I get on a fish boat, not always a 34 footer like this 34 Fountain TE, but I get on a fish boat and, and I have trouble finding like what my favorite thing about it is. In this case, that's not an issue, people. The helm. The helm. If you're into a serious performance boat that's also a serious fishing boat, and you want to run from a console that looks like an F-14? The hell.